Hello, welcome to Knowledge Park. Motherhood is a big journey. For years, people spoke about it quietly. Today we'll explain everything in clear, simple words. This video is a simple science-based guide. We cover planning, pregnancy week by week, and life after birth. You'll learn how your body works, what to eat, what to do, what to avoid, and the latest trusted research. Whether you're curious, pregnant, or a clinician, this guide is for you. Let's start at the beginning, your reproductive system. Think of it as a well-coordinated, living system inside you. These are the ovaries, the egg stores. Each holds thousands of tiny eggs, called oocytes. These are the fallopian tubes, the highways of conception. Each month, one egg travels down the tube. If it meets sperm here, fertilization can happen. This is the uterus, the baby's room. The lining, called the endometrium, grows soft and rich each month to welcome a fertilized egg. This is the cervix, the gateway. Its mucus changes during the cycle. Sometimes it helps sperm enter, sometimes it blocks them. A control center in the brain, the hypothalamus and pituitary, runs this system. They release hormones like FSH and LH to guide the ovaries. Knowing your system lets you use fertility awareness methods, FM. This is not the old rhythm method. It uses real signs from your own body. Track your basal body temperature, your first morning temperature. A small rise after ovulation confirms the shift. Watch your cervical fluid, shifting from sticky to creamy to clear and stretchy near ovulation. Together, basal body temperature and cervical fluid pinpoint your fertile window. You can use this to achieve, or to avoid, pregnancy naturally. For many, conceiving is hard. The TTC community has opened up about options like IUI, IVF, and ICSI, injecting one sperm into an egg, making these topics easier to discuss. Obstetrics and fertility include more than IUI, IVF, and ICSI. Options can include cycle tracking and timed intercourse, ovulation induction plans, surgery for endometriosis or blocked tubes, sperm retrieval, donor eggs or sperm, surrogacy, and fertility preservation. The right pathway depends on you. Ask your doctor. Pregnancy loss is common, though rarely discussed. Talking about it matters. It helps healing. Nutrition and safety. What to eat and what to avoid before and during pregnancy. First, the superstars to include. Folate is vital to prevent brain and spine defects. Eat greens like spinach and methi, lentils and citrus fruits. Your blood volume doubles in pregnancy. Iron prevents anemia. Pear beans, leafy greens, and dates with vitamin C, like lemon, for better absorption. Calcium builds strong bones and teeth. Get it from milk, curd, paneer, and ragi. Morning sunlight helps with vitamin D. Omega-3s feed the growing brain. Find them in walnuts, flax seeds, and fatty fish like salmon. Protein builds every cell. Eat enough from dowels, pulses, eggs, chicken, and paneer. Iodine and choline support baby's brain. Use iodized salt in cooking. Eat dairy, eggs, legumes, and fish if you include it. If considering supplements, ask your doctor. Now, what to avoid? No raw fish, no undercooked eggs or meat, and no unpasteurized milk or cheese. Avoid large predatory fish. Limit caffeine to one small cup a day. Food safety basics. Wash produce, separate raw and cooked foods, cook thoroughly, and keep the fridge cold. These steps cut infection risk. Hydration and gentle nutrition tips. Aim 8 to 10 cups of fluids daily. Water, buttermilk, lemon water, or soups. For nausea, try small frequent meals, ginger or lemon, and a dry snack on waking. Boost fiber with fruits, vegetables, whole grains, and dowels to prevent constipation. 
and never use alcohol, tobacco, or recreational drugs during pregnancy. Medication and herbal safety. Only use medicines your doctor approves. Avoid non-steroidal painkillers unless prescribed. Be cautious with herbal teas and supplements. Many are not pregnancy safe. Always check with your doctor first. Eat well, choose safely, and when in doubt, ask your doctor who specializes in obstetrics, pregnancy, childbirth, and postpartum care, and gynecology, women's reproductive health. When sperm meets an egg, a new life begins. The fertilized egg starts dividing and travels to the uterus to implant in the wall. This tiny ball of cells will grow into your baby. Your body changes in amazing ways. The placenta forms to bring oxygen and nutrients to the baby. The hormone relaxin loosens your ligaments to help your body prepare for birth. Knowing these steps can ease fear. OBGYNs, midwives, and doulas support you with science, skill, and steady care. Before starting any exercise or yoga, consult your doctor. Staying active is safe and encouraged. It helps you feel better in pregnancy and recover more easily after birth. Walking is a perfect, low-impact exercise. Prenatal yoga builds flexibility, gentle strength, and calm breathing. Kegels strengthen your pelvic floor, the muscles that support your bladder, uterus, and bowels. To do them, squeeze the muscles you use to stop urine, hold for a few seconds, then release. Sit comfortably, one hand on your chest, one on your belly. Breathe in slowly through your nose. Let your belly rise. Breathe out slowly through your mouth. This soothes your nervous system and boosts oxygen for your baby. Sleep on your side with pillows for support. Keep posture neutral when sitting and lifting. Gentle daily walks and stretching ease back strain. Exercise stop signs. Stop and call your doctor if you have vaginal bleeding, fluid leakage, painful contractions, dizziness or fainting, chest pain or shortness of breath, or reduced fetal movement. Travel, work, and environment. Wear a lap belt low under the belly with shoulder strap across chest. On flights, walk and hydrate. Check airline limits. Use ergonomic seating, avoid heavy lifting and toxic fumes, and take frequent stretch breaks. Ask your doctor before long trips. Birth is not the finish line. The first three months after delivery are the fourth trimester. Your body and mind are adjusting. This season can be tender and overwhelming, and it deserves honest, gentle care for you and your baby. Physically, healing takes time. Vaginal discharge, called lochia, is normal. You may feel cramp-like after pains as the uterus shrinks. If you breastfeed, it's a new skill. Latch and position take practice. Be patient with yourself and ask for guidance. Your belly will take time to shrink. This is normal. Many parents feel baby blues in the first two weeks. Mood swings and tears that come and go. Seek help if sadness or anxiety is intense. Lasts beyond two weeks. You struggle to bond. Cannot sleep even when baby sleeps. Or have thoughts of harming yourself or your baby. Postpartum depression is a medical condition, common and treatable. Call your doctor, a mental health professional, or emergency services if you feel unsafe. You deserve care. The most important advice, ask for, and accept, help. Let loved ones cook, clean, or hold the baby while you rest. Your job is to heal, be cared for, and bond with your little one. Postpartum. Seek urgent care for heavy bleeding soaking pads, fever or foul discharge, severe headache or vision changes, chest pain or breathlessness, one-sided calf pain or swelling, wound redness, or thoughts of self-harm. Call your OBGYN or emergency services. Help fast saves lives. Plan recovery time. Many families aim for about 18 to 24 months between births. Discuss contraception options that fit your health and values. Ask your doctor. Advanced frontiers, care pathways, research, and evidence-only boundaries will move from who to see, to how biology works, to technology, and clear guardrails. Which doctor, and when, 
Start with your OBGYN for pregnancy and birth. For IVF or complex fertility, see a reproductive endocrinologist, an REI, prenatal screening, quick timeline. First visit, blood type, anemia, infections, 11-14 weeks, nuchal scan and combined screen, 18-22 weeks, detailed anatomy scan, 24-28 weeks, glucose screen, third trimester, growth scans as advised, with your OBGYN. Consider genetic counseling if there's a family history, previous genetic conditions, or advanced parental age. Screening choices are personal. Review them with your doctor or a genetic counselor. For mood, anxiety, or trauma, meet a psychiatrist or clinical psychologist trained in perinatal care. A registered dietitian can tailor food plans to your culture and budget. A pelvic floor physiotherapist supports recovery. Pain, diastasis recti or urine leakage ask early for referrals the right team speeds recovery science keeps moving your gut microbiome may shape a baby's immune system and preterm birth risk simple step eat probiotic rich foods curd or yogurt with live cultures and add fermented foods if your doctor advises Mental health screening during pregnancy and after birth is becoming routine. It matters as much as physical health. Partners can also have postpartum depression, low mood, irritability, sleep trouble. If anyone struggles, tell your doctor early. Consult a perinatal psychiatrist or clinical psychologist. Help works. Support at home helps the whole family. The maternal brain, pregnancy and early parenthood reshape neural networks, heightening sensitivity to infant cues, shifting attention and memory with sleep loss, and strengthening reward and empathy circuits. These changes are normal and often reversible. Support, sleep, and mental health care help. Mechanisms in brief. Epigenetics, chemical tags that turn genes on or off without changing DNA letters. Parental diet and stress, and the environment before and during pregnancy can add these tags. This early programming, called DOHAD, the developmental origins of health and disease, may shape risks like obesity, diabetes, and some mental health outcomes. The preconception window is powerful. The uterus also has a microbiome. Unbalanced profiles are linked to IVF implantation failure and recurrent pregnancy loss. Lactobacillus dominant profiles show higher implantation success, driving new diagnostics and targeted probiotic care. Pregnancy is an immune paradox. The fetus is half foreign, yet the body accepts it. Regulatory T cells, TREGs, gather at the maternal fetal interface, reduce inflammation, and promote tolerance. When tolerance fails, Preeclampsia and some miscarriages can occur. Future therapies may safely modulate these cells. Father's biology matters too. Sperm epigenetics shift with lifestyle, diet, sleep, exercise, as well as smoking, alcohol, and age. High sperm DNA fragmentation lowers IVF success and raises miscarriage risk. Tests like SCD, Sperm chromatin dispersion appear in advanced workups, digital care, approved home devices, blood pressure cuffs, glucose meters, and when directed, fetal heart rate devices can stream data securely to doctors. This enables earlier action and fewer unnecessary visits. Proactive, data-driven prenatal care. Molecular horizons. CRISPR is widely known but germline editing, changing sperm, egg, or embryo so future generations inherit it, raises serious concerns. Off-target edits and permanent gene pool changes. Global groups call for a pause in human reproduction until safety, efficacy, and ethics are proven. Spatial transcriptomics now maps the placenta in detail, showing which genes are active and exactly where. This reframes preeclampsia as regional cell level trouble, revealing drug targets and early biomarkers.
prenatal regenerative medicine is in trials. In utero stem cell transplants and gene therapy for conditions like SCID and SMA, treating early before damage builds and leveraging fetal immune tolerance and rapid growth. AI prediction. Combine whole genome data, sperm DNA fragmentation index, endometrial microbiome profiles, and continuous glucose data to build a personal fertility and pregnancy roadmap. Examples. Flag preterm birth risk at 12 weeks, or find the best hour for embryo transfer in IVF. Evidence-only guardrails. Fetal neurodevelopment and pain are gradual. For indicated fetal procedures, teams use anesthesia and analgesia. Reproductive longevity options with evidence include counseling, oocyte or embryo cryopreservation, and IVF. PRP, mitochondrial augmentation, and senolytics remain experimental, not standard care. Chronic stress and HPA axis activation raise risks of preterm birth and low birth weight. Supports include screening, psychotherapy, social support, sleep and light, and doctor-approved exercise. Dental care matters. Pregnancy gingivitis is common. Brush twice daily with fluoride, floss, and schedule a dental checkup. Cleanings and most dental work are safe with your dentist informed. Untreated gum disease raises pregnancy risks. Vaccines protect you and baby. Flu shot, any trimester. Tdap at 27 to 36 weeks for newborn protection. COVID-19 vaccines as locally advised. Avoid live vaccines in pregnancy. Confirm your schedule with your doctor, OBGYN. Fetal movement counts. From about 28 weeks, choose a time when baby is active. You should feel 10 movements within two hours. If fewer or movement drops, call your doctor the same day. Prematurity care today relies on evidence, antenatal steroids, surfactant therapy, and gentle ventilation in the NICU. Artificial placenta systems work in animals only, not approved for humans. Space flight and reproduction, animal and cell studies show microgravity and radiation effects but we have no human clinical data on conception or gestation in space. Unknowns are stated clearly. Principles to close. Evidence, safety, and transparency. Facts first, with empathy, equity, and care focused on outcomes that matter to families. Step by step, we act on what is proven and study what is possible, so care stays precise, personal, and trustworthy. In the end, it's simple. Understand your body, Eat well and move safely. Listen to your needs, go at your pace, and be kind to yourself. Ask for support from your partner, family, and care team. Let evidence guide your choices, not fear. You are not alone on this path. If this helped, please like, subscribe, and share. What should we cover next? Tell us in the comments.